so annoying. You just finished working on your branch and there's a few commits that you wish weren't there, a few typos on some of the commit messages. There is one thing you can do. Git rebase, you might have heard of it. It's the big scary brother of Git merge. Gotta be very sparing with this. If you're working on your own branch in isolation, that's when you wanna use it. All right, let's run through this. I'm basically showing you here my API that I'm working on for an app I'm building. It's quite a cool app actually, I think anyway, or it's gonna be. The API is gonna be hosted on Lambda, on AWS, and it's using DynamoDB, Terraform, it's pretty cool. But anyway, this particular branch is just a mock branch. The, the commits are just, you know, just like comments basically, just so that I can demonstrate how I'm using Git Rebase to delete and rewrite the history. So you can see one's got a typo, I've got a lock data there I'm gonna get rid of and I'm gonna keep the readme. So over in the terminal, git rebase hyphen i for interactive and then I'm using head three. So I'm going back three from where we're currently at. You can use the hash on the commits to go back to a specific one but I find it easier just to do head and then a number. So this is where it is tricky if you haven't done it before. So your editor in the terminal, you've got to press A and you'll see it says insert down at the bottom. And then you want to change these commands to do what you want to do. All the commands are listed below. So format user data, I actually want to change that to reword. Because I want to change the name. The next one I want to get rid of it, so I'm going to type drop. And then I'm going to the end and I'm going to exit out by pressing escape key and then control C and I'm typing colon WQ exclamation mark to save and continue. The one it prompts you to type will just save it. It won't save, sorry, it'll just exit and continue. So you don't want to do that. So here we are in the editor again. This is where I'm going to change the name of the commit. So A again to insert, type the message, exit, and then you want colon WQ exclamation mark to save and continue. Here it's saying I've got a conflict just because of the way that I did my commits all together in one place. So it's not ideal. I'm just gonna get rid of these comments and then I'll do a git add. This is the commit that I wanna keep. So actually here I just wanna basically continue, save and continue again without doing anything. And now I'm running git status, you can see my local is diverged from the remote, which is a pain. And I'm running git force push because I want to overwrite what's on the remote with my local because I know that what I've got locally is what I want. This is why you've got to be careful if you're working with a group because you can change the history of the git repo and cause all kinds of havoc. All kinds. Jumping back over to GitHub and refreshed and you can see history has been rewritten by the victors and all we've got is one commit message, no typo, the commit I didn't want has gone and we've got the final one. What a miracle. Git rebase really takes me back to my junior days. I remember hearing some seniors talking about when to use rebase and when to use merge. When I looked up the documentation I found it like super confusing for some reason. Not sure why now that I'm thinking back, but it's just one of those things when you're when you just started out and you start reading about an advanced Git technique. It's confusing why you do it and it's confusing how to do it. I really want to do some more stuff where I walk around talking to the camera. Um, have I got some food on my face? Around the streets walking around talking to the camera. But it is embarrassing man. It's really, really embarrassing. I'm just taking myself out onto the balcony right now, trying it out. And uh, even here, it's uncomfortable for some reason. Next video, I'm gonna take this thing to the streets. Maybe I'll try and record myself talking about web development in the supermarket or something. That'll be pretty goddamn embarrassing. Oh yeah. I'm walking around in a medieval village with a, with a burning torch if I go in the dark. Ah. What coding mysteries lie in this darkness? Ah! Stay back! Stay back! Make sure you're liking and subscribing, guys.